You want to exercise your freedom on the world, but you don't want to exercise it on yourself. Oh, you'll shut the world down for telling you what you can't do, but you won't say nothing to you when you don't do what you're supposed to do. You're not getting up when you're supposed to get up. You procrastinate, but you let you slide. You want to hold them accountable? Hold yourself accountable too. You always want to blame other people. You want to hold other people to the fire, but you're not holding yourself to the fire. There are things you like, you have absolutely no control. You are like a slave to you. You need to look at yourself in the mirror and say, why are you only giving 50%? What's wrong with you? And you need to get rid of them excuses and you need to stop pointing fingers at people. And you need to start pointing fingers at yourself. What did you not do? And the reason why we fast from time to time is not that we have to fast, but at some point you got to fast because you got to tell the flesh who's in control. I'm in control. You're not in control. I know you don't want to wake up. You don't have an option. Get up. We trying to eat. There's a certain lifestyle we want. Because I owe it to myself. And can't nobody stop me but me. You are not where you want to be, not because you need any more gifts. You need to discipline yourself. You need to learn to tell you no, tell you stop, tell you quit. You got to get to a point where you're disciplined. It might require you saying no to your friends. It might require you changing your diet. Whatever it takes, you got to be willing to do it. And you keep saying you're not there because of something else, because it's easier to blame somebody else. I have to take complete ownership. I had to look at all the things that I didn't have control over and say, I got to take control. Why? When you master yourself, you put yourself in a position that a lot of people can't do what you do, and then you become rare, and diamonds are rare. That's why they cost so much. You have to be willing to grit it out. You have to be willing to push through discomfort. Nothing that you're about to try or do that is worthwhile is going to be comfortable for you during the process of creating it. Stop with this hope, sh stop with this I wish, and start replacing those terms with I will fucking do, no matter what. It's a commitment, it's not a feeling. Commitments don't have nothing to do with your feelings. You do it because you're supposed to. It's a lifestyle. Is that hitting that fucking snooze button in the fucking morning and not making your bed and not cleaning your house? You don't hit the snooze button. You get up. You don't want to go run? You go run. You don't want to go swim? You go swim. You don't want to make your bed? You make your bed. You don't want to clean your house? You clean your house. You don't want to study? You fucking study. That's how you start to callous your mind. It's going to suck. It's not going to be fun. Do something that sucks every single day of your life. That's how you grow. Make every day your masterpiece. The secret of your success is determined by what we do daily. And here's the crazy part. All you gotta do is look in the mirror. All you gotta do is deal with yourself and then we're gonna get to a whole other level. Embrace the pressure. Pressure creates diamonds. Start to take the pressure that you feel for what it is you want to do and turn that into productive action. Let it be the thing that makes you get where you want to go when everybody else is just taking it easy. No more playing after today. I need you to take control over every single area and we're going to do it one day at a time and you're going to get control and then someday going to be your day.